Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. And this YouTube channel basically talks about everything that has to do with Facebook ads, Instagram ads, running ads generally is what we talk about on this YouTube channel. Right now, I want to discuss something that is very important. I want to discuss something that would help you a whole lot. Now, if you saw my previous video where I talked about how to run Facebook ads from start to finish, you would... I mean, I got a lot of comments with people asking me exactly uh, to do the video for how to run Instagram ads from Instagram. Now, I don't want to assume that a lot of people know this already, but what I want to do is to take it from start to finish and explain exactly how to run um, Instagram ads. So if you don't know how to run Instagram ads, you are watching the right video that is going to help you to achieve that. Now, don't forget that you should subscribe to my YouTube channel like comment share the video with somebody tag somebody that would need to see this you know i mean basically just show some love thank you so much for doing that all right so let's get straight into the video now we want to talk about running ads running instagram ads especially from start to finish so if you don't know how to run instagram ads or you've never done it before you're in a good place so just stick around and please watch the video to the end so that you can get a full understanding of how you can do this now you might not get this at once you might need to watch this video over and over again to understand exactly how to run this instagram ads that i'm about to show you okay so of course i'm sure you can see my screen by the side i mean you can see my phone by the side of the screen so i'm going to take it um, step by step, I'm going to talk about everything that you need to know, right? So this is my Instagram account. Um, of course, you can follow me on Instagram at BizLift. You can follow me on Instagram and catch up with everything that I post on Instagram, right? Now, one of the first things we're going to look at is the setup. The setup is always very important, right? Very, very important. Now, what, what is the setup that you need to get done when you want to run Instagram ads. Number one is that you need to ensure that your Facebook page is connected to your Instagram page, right? Ensure your Facebook page is connected to your Instagram page. I'm sure you get that, right? Now, the way to do that is very simple. Number one thing you need to do is to connect your Facebook account. Now, a lot of people make mistakes thinking that they need to open a business a, a business account. So they open a Facebook account in the name of their business. No, you don't need to do that. What you need to do is to is to use your personal Facebook account, the one that has your name, right? So you use that account to, I mean, you connect that account to your Instagram account. How do you do it? Go to your settings and privacy, right? You will see account center, okay? So when you get to account center, you can see account, right? On that account, connect the right account here. So you can see it here. You can connect the right account where you see... um. Facebook account, just click add account and then you can add your Facebook account that you need, okay? My own account is already added, which you can see down there. So once this is done, the next thing you need to do is to come to your profile and click edit profile. Now, what we want to do here is we want to connect our Facebook page with our Instagram page. Take, for example, you have a Facebook page or you don't even have a Facebook page. Go and create it on your personal Facebook account. Right. So let's say your the name of your account is Spongy Hair. Right. So create Spongy Hair under your Facebook account is a Facebook page. Right. So you're going to connect Spongy Hair Facebook page to Spongy Hair Instagram page. I hope you get that. Right. So we're going to connect that. To do that, I click Edit Profile. Then you come down where you see Page, and then you click on it. Now my page is already connected. If your page is not connected, it will show something like Connect. Right, instead of the name you're seeing here, it will show something like connect. So if it's showing that on your account, it means you need to connect your page. Do that and it will be connected immediately. Right. If it's not connected, then there might probably be some issue that you need to resolve or something. Right. But normally it should connect with your Instagram page. Now, once this connection is done, the next thing you need to do is, of course, from your from my previous videos, you must have seen videos where I talked about creating ad accounts, prepared ad accounts, linking it to your Instagram. Please go and watch the video. I'll leave the link somewhere above here where you're going to see the link to that video where you can create a prepared ad account and you can switch it on your Instagram. So there are two different videos 
One is to create the prepaid ad account. The other one is this one, which is to switch your prepaid ad account on Instagram. Once you have done these two things, then you can now run your ads, right? So then you are ready and you are set to run your ads. Of course, you must have funded your ad account already. So you're set to run your ads. Now, what we're going to do next is to now run ads on one of our posts. So let's say this is the post I want to run my ads on, right? This is the post that you're seeing right now that I want to run my ads on. What I'm going to do is to click boost post. Now, when you click boost post, what you're going to see is that you're going to see three goals. There are three different goals. Now, this is similar to Facebook. Now, you know that when we were talking about Facebook ads and how to run Facebook ads, we talked about objectives, right? Objectives basically talks about what you want to achieve with your ad right? But now we're talking about goals on Instagram. Goals also mean what you want to achieve with your ads, right? That's what goals also mean. So um, so you choose which goal you want. Now, profile visits means that you want, to, you want people to come to your profile. When they see the advert, they click and they visit your profile. Basically, they click and visit your profile, right? Um, the second one is the more website visits. More website visits basically talks about sending people to a website right sending people to a website maybe you have an e-commerce store and you want to generate leads to that store or you maybe you have something else that is maybe a landing page something else you can use more website visits the last one is more messages so you want to um you want to grow conversations you want conversations to start in the dm you want customers to message you in the DM and then they can you can further convert them into buying customers. More messages is great. Right. Now, out of these three, I would advise you to focus on two, which would be profile visits and more messages. I would advise you to focus on these two. My reason is very simple. More, more profile visits is very cheap and more messages is a bit expensive, but gives also gives you the result. So more profile visits and more messages would be perfect for you to do, I mean, for you to run your ads with. So I'm going to select more profile visits for this ad, and then I'm going to click next, right? Now, before we even click next, can you see somewhere that says edit, a small blue button that says edit? Now, if you click that blue button, ensure that this ad banner to profile is turned on. Now, when you turn it on, what it means is that when people see your advert, they can actually send you a message from that advert. So this profile visit kind of does something similar to what your more messages can do. So you see why I think, I, I, I mean, why I'm advising you to do more profile visit ad. So once it's turned on, just click done and then click next. Okay, so if it's not turned on, please ensure you turn it on. Now, the second stage we get to here is the audience stage. What exactly do you need to do at the audience stage? This is where you put in the audience you want to target with this ad that you're doing. What, who are you trying to target with the ad? What exactly are you trying to achieve with the ad? This is where you need to specify that, right? Now, what you need to do is to click create your own. Now, there are two options. You have the option to create your own or to use automatic. Now, when you use automatic, what you are doing is that you are telling Instagram that I want to be able to suggest based on the type of followers I have, based on what you guys think, I want you guys to suggest the target audience for me based on the type of followers that I have. So that means if you bought followers or you do pods and all those things, it might not work for you because your followers might not be the right type of people. You get where I'm coming from. So if you want to use the automatic, ensure you have the right type of followers before you use it. Now, the second option you have on the, on the audience level is the create your own option now this create your own option what it basically does is that it lets you create your own audience so let's click on it you put in an audience name it could be any name right you put in the location you want so let's say i'm doing lagos okay now the next thing you do is to put in the interest we've talked about targeting i have a lot of videos on my youtube page about targeting so look at these videos and you know i mean Choose the targeting that you should be using. So let's say I'm just going to uh, fix in my targeting to be business to business. I'm going to just fix in my targeting to be business to business. You know, let me just say I want to use one. Now, let me advise you on a few things. When you are selecting your targeting, please ensure that you are selecting at least 8 to 10 interests only. At least 8 to 10, the location at least 3, at most 3. The interest, at least eight, 
I mean, it can be lesser than eight, but at most 10, between eight to 10 is lovely. Now, the age and gender also, focus on the age and gender that best works for your ad, that best, that best works for, for your ad, for your business, for your type of business. Pick the age and pick the gender and then done and then you click next, right? So when you click next, select your budget. We are in the budget level where we're going to select the budget we want to use. How much do you want to spend? Now, I would always advise this based on the product you sell. If you sell products that are not very pricey, you can do anything between 2000 to 3000 right? But if you sell pricey products, you need to look at 5000 and above daily. A daily budget is what I think I would advise you to do. Now, what you can do is instead of choosing set duration, you can run your advert until you pause it. So what that means is that you can either choose to pause the advert or delete the advert if you're not getting results, which I, I mean, which I think should not be the case. You should get results with your ads, right? So run your advert until you pause it. But if you don't want to do that, you can also set a duration. Say one week, two weeks, three weeks, you can set the duration by just clicking set duration and you drag the bar to where you want the duration to be, right? After you have done that, click next. Now, this is the final stage of your ad where you're going to be, I mean, publishing the advert. Now, you can see the payment. Let me just explain a few things here. Now, you see where it says budget and duration? That is how much you are spending over the next seven days. Now, you see where it says payment? 552.83, that is the money I have in my prepaid ad account. Now, compared to ad budget and my total spend, my total spend plus tax plus VAT is about 17,000 plus. But my total budget and my payments, they're not matching up. My What I have in my ad account is really low. So if I click boost post, automatically it will tell me to add money, right? Let me show you. Can you see now? It's already telling me to add money because the money I have here, it's not enough. So what I need to do is to add money so that my adverts can run. Once I add the money, the post would be boosted. Or you can add the money before you even run the ad and then you can boost your post easily, right? You can boost your post easily. This is how to run your ads from start to finish. What you need to understand is that Instagram ads is very simple. It's direct. Right. Unlike Facebook ads that is complicated, has a lot of things, you know. Now, when something has a lot of options, you easily can, you know, confuse, you can be confused or, you know, anything can happen with it. But Instagram ads is direct, is, I mean, it also gives you the result if you know how to do it the right way. I know a lot of people that generate millions and millions of Naira just by using Instagram ads. They've never done Facebook ads before. So I thought it wise to show you how to run your ads from the Instagram platform directly all right so would you have any question you can leave them in the comment section remember that if you have watched this video thus far you should subscribe to my youtube channel you should should drop a like a comment you should share with somebody i mean that is exactly how to appreciate this video that i've given to you now what would you like me to do a video about next please leave it in the comment section what would you like me to share next? What topics would you like me to cover on Facebook ads, Instagram ads? What questions do you have about this particular video? Do you have issues? Would you need anything? Please leave them in the comment section. I'll be responding to as much as I can respond to. Thank you so much. I hope you got value from this video. If you did, thank you for getting value. All right. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in another video.